Hi there, my name is Godwin Maben. I am a fellow at Synopsys, focusing on low power technologies for the last 15 to 20 years. Today, we are going to discuss about one of the key raising concerns in the power world called glitch power. As you see, at lower geometry, we've been observing, uh, especially at 7, 5, and 3 nanometer, timing glitches in the design seems to be on dramatic rise due to the shift in the distribution between net delay and cell delay. These glitches, uh, just to give a perspective, are in the range of greater than 20%, which is significantly high compared to how we used to design in uh, 14 nanometer, for example. So this need to be addressed as early as the architectural stage to get the maximum return on investment. Now, if you were to look at what types of designs are highly glitchy, uh, most of the time, uh, in my experience, it's always been a deep data path where you have tons of combinatorial logic. Now, as you all know, there are many chips being designed which fits uh, AI and ML application. And most of our AI ML chips are dominated by arithmetic components. So we need a methodology in place to address these glitch concerns. Now, to give some perspective, we have seen for some of the existing designs such as ALUs and Max, which are dominating in AI ML chips, glitch power is in the order of 27 to 30% of total power. So definitely we need a methodology to address glitch power. As I said earlier, there is a need for glitch uh, flow in place. So the first thing I would do is, how do I measure them as early as possible, which in this case is RTL. Now in my experience, highest return on investment to reduce glitches to make architectural changes in the early stage of design cycle. One approach would be, today you might be doing RTL power analysis. Why not add a glitch power to the RTL power analysis and take guidance from tools such as Prime Power to come up with a glitch-free architecture. In addition to making RTL architectural changes, glitch can also be controlled by guiding synthesis and place and rough tool. Uh, that way you can pick glitch-free architecture as well as optimize the circuit. And the most important part is providing representative vectors to measure and optimize glitch at the st each step of the flow. Now, on top of all this, if you want to fix glitches during ECO stage, you can do surgically balance the delay across the combinated real glitches. Uh, if you want to understand more about glitch or get more details, we invite you to take a closer look at the link provided on the screen.